Hey everyone, today I'm at the World Showcase in Epcot in Walt Disney World, and I am going to take you to each country and give you a little fact about each. I'm Maxwell Glick, and this is How To Disney. <laughs> Welcome to Canada. So, interesting fact about here, the plants here change color with the seasons to represent the seasons in Canada. The gardens here are supposed to resemble the Bucart Gardens in Canada. If you've been there, do they look like those gardens? Let me know. Let's go to a new country. Welcome to the UK! I'm at the Rose and Crown Pub. If you want a drink in the World Showcase, such as great beer, come here, because it's amazing. I always get Guinness when I'm over here. Uh, so the Rose and Crown got its name because in the UK, the two most popular words in pub names are Rose and crown, you guessed it. So that's how they came up with that. Isn't that cute? Bienvenue à France. An interesting thing about this, as you see the Eiffel Tower there in the background, well, the Eiffel Tower is the only thing that the general public can't get to in the World Showcase. And everything else you can go in, you can go in all the buildings and stuff, but you cannot go up to the Eiffel Tower. It's just there. It's a carrot. Okay, so I'm in between France and Morocco, and I'm gonna just take you on a little walk and just take a look at the pavement, okay? You see, it looks like that normally. But then you get to this one section of pavement and it looks different. And this is supposed to symbolize the Straits of Gibraltar. What? I bet you didn't know that. I'm standing in the Straits of Gibraltar now. Look, walking on water. <laughs> Welcome to Morocco. An interesting thing about this country is that the king was so excited when Disney asked Morocco to be part of the World Showcase that he sent his own men from Morocco to build it and he paid for it. King's money built this country. Pretty neat and it's beautiful. I mean, look at the architecture. It, it really transports you there and when you go further in, I mean, you, 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 it, it just feels like you're walking in the streets of Morocco. Welcome to Japan. If you'll notice, the five pagodas are for earth, water, fire, wind, and sky. Pretty amazing. And if we get really close, you can see hidden Mickeys in the pattern on the building. I'll, I'm gonna get you closer. So I've zoomed in on the bells on the edge of the pagoda here. Upside down Mickey and another Mickey in the bells. And then also you can see in the pattern of the, of the actual building, look, there's more. That looks like Oswald actually. Welcome to America. I've got a couple interesting facts about this. So. You can see behind me, this is the largest building in the World Showcase. It's also the center of the World Showcase. And this building is a five-story building made to look like a three-story building because in the colonial times, buildings typically only went as high as three stories. And it's made from 110,000 hand-crafted bricks. And also, it's a blend of Americana because at the top of it, you can see the Liberty Bell. And then the columns are very Jefferson from Virginia. There's elements in Williamsburg along the sides. It, it, it is like a perfect blend of a typical colonial American building. I love it. I feel like Walt Disney would be very proud of the structure of this building and what it represents. Welcome to Italy. The inspiration for Italy uh, was the city of Venice. It's really quite beautiful. The architecture here is supposed to represent Venice. And let me take you over here. You see this building? I'm gonna go all the way up to that window and there is a hidden Mickey up there, but uh, you probably can't see it. I'll zoom in. There it is, all the way up there, hidden Mickey. Welcome to Germany. And so at the top of the hour, at the clock tower, there's gonna be a little show. And they do this every hour at the top of the hour. So if you're in Germany at the top of the hour, come over here and take a look. Uh, it's about three minutes at the top of the hour right now. So. Let's see what happens. You can see it's 12. It's actually like 12.02, but uh, here it is. Oh, are they gonna ring it 12 times because it's 12? 11. That's true. 12. Good show, guys. <laughs> Bye. Welcome to China. Okay, I have to take you inside the temple actually for a really cool fact, so come with me. I am in the temple, and if you stand directly in the center, this room is acoustically perfect, and your voice echoes right down back to you. And it actually does. Do you hear that? I don't know if you can hear that at home, but it's acoustically perfect. Your voice echoes back 
to you. Come in the temple, stand directly in the center, right there. See, I stepped off the center and it's not doing that anymore, but I step right back on and it does it. Welcome to Norway. Now I'm gonna take you over to one area of the roof of one of the buildings here and show you a little fun fact. This roof is made of grass. And actual Disney World cast members have to get up there. They hire horticulture cast members to go up there and trim the grass on the roof. Cause uh, I guess they can't send animals out here to do it. I don't know, what kind of animals do they have in Norway? Go sheep? Goats? Or do they have reindeer? Welcome to Mexico! This is a relief carving that was added here because before they put that there, you see those little steps? Little kids were climbing on those steps, so they put that relief carving there to prevent little kids from climbing on the steps. <laughs> As I try to navigate these steps with all the people coming into the Mexican pavilion. <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed these little fun facts about the world showcase. Thanks for coming along with me. Uh, I think I should probably go eat some things now around the world showcase since you know how much I love the food. So guys, in the comments below, let me know what interesting fact you thought was the most interesting and if you have any new interesting facts that you you guys know about that I didn't know, let me know, like, subscribe, and I will see you next time on How To Disney. Have a magical day, everybody.